Yeah, we now welcome yeah. UFC yeah. Ben Wade Eddie Wong. I know I'm gonna be doing this. <laughs> Thanks for the time today, Eddie. Thank you, Dad. I appreciate it, guys. We will be taking the first question from Jay Anderson with Cage Side Press. Jay, please go ahead. Hey, thanks very much, and uh, welcome back, Eddie. I mean, you know, at, at 35, WEC champ, fought for the UFC title, coming back here against uh, a young up-and-comer, what keeps you motivated at this stage in the game? Uh, I, I'm still in great shape. I mean, I, I've always said that uh, I'm going to continue fighting until I, I feel my body just doesn't put up with it anymore, and... Uh, through the through the years, uh, linking up with with the gym that I'm with now and with my strength and conditioning coach about ten years ago, um, kind of started adapting to work smarter, not harder, and uh, taking rest days when needed, and just just kind of training training better and um, training at 100% three days a week versus 60 at six days has allowed me to be in at 35. I'm in better shape than I was at 25. We kind of see the story again and again in uh, combat sports, the up-and-comer versus the veteran. Do you enjoy having the opportunity to derail a hype train here? Uh, I mean, it, it's a big opportunity for me. It's a big opportunity for him also. Um, you know, he, he, he's fighting a veteran. I'm fighting, I'm fighting a guy who he's got a huge name, although he's, he's been in the UFC not that long. He's got a very big name, a very big following. Um, you know, so, I, I mean, as far as derailing, I mean, I, it is what it is. I mean, they set us up to fight. Um, so, I mean, if it derails them, it derails them. I'm sorry, but, uh, I'm here to win. I'm not, I'm not here to, to be looked over. And I mean, there's a lot going on in the world right now. Obviously it goes without saying, um, and it's kind of been snowballing even over the past week. How much of a distraction is that for you when you're trying to focus and prepare for a fight? Nothing, nothing. I, um, I mean, the, the whole COVID thing, these, these riots, everything that's going on. I mean, it, it, the COVID doesn't scare me. Uh, I've been working in the midst of it as a firefighter since it started. Um, it doesn't scare me. It, it's it's my my mind is set on a fight, and uh, that's that's it's a one track mind there. So every everything else going on, I mean, it, it's it's small potatoes. And last one for me. How has the uh, pandemic restrictions, like social distancing and all that, changed camp for you in terms of getting in the the work that you need, the training partners that you need, and so on. Um, so I, I, I've got a, a small like, like uh, strength and conditioning set up in my basement and my, my strength and conditioning coach, he moved half of his gym to his garage. So, so as far as strength and conditioning, it hasn't suffered at all. Um, I, I missed a few workouts as far as, as far as fight conditioning workouts, but uh, I stayed in kind of a holding pattern until we had something going. And um, I, went, I won't say who or where, but we, we may or may not have backdoored a few workouts and, and got the necessary work that we needed. All right. Well, thanks very much for the time and best of luck this Saturday. Awesome. Thank you. We will take the next question from Alistair Bishop with MMA Republic. Hey, hey, Eddie, how's it going? Good, good. How are you? Fantastic. Thank you. The most important question is during this pandemic, how have you managed to keep that stash in such brilliant shape? <laughs> uh, with, with a great mustache comes great responsibility and that responsibility is keep it looking good. So, uh, uh, a, lot of, a lot of playing with it, a lot of a lot of hair drying, and uh, just uh, all the good do good genetics, I guess. Does it does it uh, require a daily routine? No, nah, no, just about five minutes of blow drying. That's about it. <laughs> awesome, man. Uh, just just want to talk about the fight. Um, Obviously, we know you're going up a guy who's who's being backed by by the UFC in terms of promotion. Um, you know, he's pushing his own needle at the same time. H how do you mentally prepare for something like that? To everyone's kind of looking at you and expecting you to lose. They, they don't really know much of who you are. You know, guys like Sean O'Malley who bring uh, a lot of casual fans in and they won't really know who you are. H how do you respond to that mentally? I mean, it is. I mean, how should I respond? I really don't care. You know, I, I've been doing this for 17 years. Um, I've been doing this since 2003, so before it's a cool thing to do. Um, I, I started doing this when when we were fighting in bars, making up our own rules. You know, so, um, <laughs> I don't I, I don't care, man. I, I like to fight. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm still here. I'm competitive. I like to fight. So I mean, put somebody in front of me, I'm gonna fight. Fantastic. And and where do you see weaknesses, especially with the younger guy? Um, do you think it's it's more of a, um, you know, having that experience is more of your advantage or, or do you see some technical advantages? 
Um, technically, I mean, he, he's he's very technical. I mean, you, you look at some of the way the way he strikes, the way he grapples, and the way he puts things together. Um, you know, like I said, he, he he's young and he's got a few years in the game, but he's put everything together very well, and he's got a very well rounded game. Um, you know, as far as advantages, I, I think just the time, the time that I put in the, on the mat and the time that I put in with, with uh, the, the highest level of opponents that you can in the world, I, I think that you can't, can't substitute that for anything. So I, I think that experience that I have is going to play my factor. And the last one for me, Eddie, um, he's obviously sporting a fantastic Afro. You're sporting a fantastic stash. Do you feel any pressure to represent your stash community? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's uh, it's the mustache mafia. You know, we, we got we got to take mustache <laughs> mania and take over. Thank you. Best of luck, man. Thank you. And we will take the next question from Augusto German Niaz Gay from Somos MMA. Hey, Eddie, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Uh, I want to I want to ask you how did you manage to prepare a fight in the middle of the pan of a pandemic? How did that affected you? Um, seems, seems to be the number one question today, I guess. Uh, yeah, so, so again, I mean, I, I've got a basement gym. So, uh, again, my strength and conditioning coach moved half of his gym into his garage. So, uh, my strength and conditioning work hasn't suffered. And, um, you know, we, I, I've got some wrestling mats in my basement. So I have a few people over and, and just real small circle stuff. Um, you know, and, and then when the time came, we, we may or may not have backdoored a few workouts uh, at a location that's undisclosed. Eddie, you are 10 years older than your rival. Do you think experience will be a determining factor? I, I think it's an advantage for me. Uh, you know, I, I've been in there and mixed it up with, with the best in the world. You're right, Faber, Benavidez, you know, Brad Pickett, Scott Jorgensen, you know, all those guys. Um, I've mixed it up with them. You know, not, not, that, not that Sean couldn't do it. I, I, I feel he could go in there and he could mix, mix it up very well with those guys. Um, but I've been there and done that, so I know how to adapt to that. Um, I think that's an advantage in my court. And and do you think you're being underestimated? Maybe. Uh, I I think by by the new fans, I think I am. I think uh, I think the people mm -hmm. who have been following MMA for a long time and know who I am, I think they know that uh, there's a chance. There's a chance there. I, I think they understand the the dangers that I possess and and. Uh, the problems I could possess, uh, but as far as for for the average casual MMA fan, I, I think they're they're uh, far looking far past me. Uh, and the last one uh, for me: uh, which aspects do you consider are going to be the key for winning? Uh, just keeping pressure. I, I got to pressure him. Mm -hmm. You know, he he, uh, he actually he fight he actually fights well moving backwards, which is is again I'm going to have to figure out how to pressure him while not letting him fight well moving backwards. Okay, thank you very much and the best of luck for Saturday. Thank you. Thank you so much, Eddie. That is all the time we had for you, sir. You are good to go. Thank you.